introduction video, we walk through the site that you need to build as your growth portfolio. Uh, remember, it's a homepage, a page for each year, and a page for each course. If you've never done this before, you need to create your homepage, your pages for your freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior years, and courses page for your current semester. But if you've done this already, uh, you should have those pages created and you just need to create new pages for the semester. But you should check to make sure that your other pages are complete and up to date with any new information that you might want to share. We're going to start by navigating to the new version of Google Sites, uh, sites.google.com, S-I-T-E-S dot google.com slash new. Uh, if you do end up on the old version of Google Sites, though, just click the new Google Sites in the menu on the left. So you can start the creation of your new site by clicking the plus sign in the bottom right corner or by selecting your existing site to make edits for the semester. This video is going to build a site from the start, but you can use this information to make sure that your existing site is up to date. Okay, so first step is to put a name on your file. Click the file name currently of untitled site in the upper left hand corner. Type your last name, a comma, your first name, hyphen, student portfolio, hyphen, class of and whatever your graduating year is. So the page we're working on is your home page. Please follow the provided format here. Uh, we're going to start by putting your full name in the banner, hit return, and then underneath that type out Bishop Montgomery High School hyphen student portfolio. For the rest of the page we will need text boxes. I'll be using placeholder text though throughout this whole video. You will be needing to input the appropriate material in each different section. So on the right hand side of the page you have a menu and there's an insert tab. If you have that selected, you'll be able to click text box. And in this text box, we need to put our front page quote. Please provide attribution to your quote if possible. And on the left hand side there, you can use the uh, painter's palette to add some formatting, to add some color, some emphasis to your text box. As you're building your portfolio, please consider the formatting and design of everything that you put on your portfolio change text sizes, change coloring, make it look great. Below your quote, we're gonna create another text box to type in your front page biography. And below your biography, uh, create an additional text box, the third one, to write your student resume. Almost anything that you put on these pages can be formatted. Again, please be thinking about the format and design. No student should really be turning in a portfolio without any design changes. That would be considered very low effort work. Next, we need to create additional pages to represent each year of high school. Select the Pages tab just to the right of the Insert tab on the menu on the right side of the screen. With the Pages menu selected, at the bottom of that menu, you can create a new page by clicking the plus sign. You're going to need to create four new pages named Freshman, Sophomore, Junior, and Senior. And while you're creating these, please notice at the top of your uh, preview of your website, there's a menu being created with the name of each page that you're adding. These four pages plus the home page are the only items that you'll want listed in your menu. All other pages we will hide from navigation. Okay, now let's finish a page for your freshman year. Each other page follows the same format, so the directions are the same as here. Your freshman page starts with a quote for the freshman year. It is the same as the front page. Select a text box from the insert menu, type in your text, and format the box if that's how you want to design it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create links only to the fall courses. To complete links to your spring courses, repeat the steps. To create links to your courses, first create a text box and then create a title called for Fall Courses and type out the name of each course. You must write a growth reflection for each course you take at BMHS. Separate courses with whatever symbol you would like. We then need to create the pages we want to link to. Similar when we created pages for each year, select the Pages menu and then click the plus sign at the bottom of the menu to create a course page for each course you listed in the Fall Courses text box. These pages have an additional step. We need to hide these pages from our navigation menu. Click the dots to the right of each course page under the Course menu and select Hide from Navigation. This will remove the page from the website's menu. Repeat for each course that you're taking this semester, create a page and then hide that page from navigation. Because you have many course pages, some students like to drag and drop pages to nest them under the year that they took the course. This is not needed but may help you with organization. After we have created a page for each course, we can then create links to those pages. Select your freshman page again and highlight the text 
of one course. You can then use the formatting menu to select the icon to link to another web page. It looks like a chain link. When you click the link button, you have the option to select a page that you've created. Scroll to the course with the same name as the course you've highlighted to link. Repeat for each other course. And repeat again, we are creating a text box, course pages, and links for your next semester. We can now create a course page. A course page begins with the text box used for course information. Separate the information with the symbol of your choice and type in the period that you took the course, the term you took the course, the name of your teacher for the course, and your course grade. If your grade improves later in the course, feel free to change it at that time, but do not inflate your grade right now just for the website. Underneath the course information header, type your course reflection. Write a reflection in paragraph form. Discuss what you have focused on and learn this semester in your course and how it will assist you in achieving further academic and work-related goals. Consider how much did you know about this subject before you started the course? What skills have you developed up to this point? What did you find difficult in this course this semester? Any areas of study from this course that you found particularly interesting? If you could, would you do anything different? Or is there anything you plan to change or improve upon for next semester or year? Remember, you need to be discussing how you've grown as a student. Below your growth reflection, include two pieces of evidence to support your reflection. Insert another text box to create a title. Each piece of evidence needs a title, the actual evidence, and a caption briefly describing the evidence. Below your title, upload to your page your evidence. Remember to format and design your web pages. Evidence can be uploaded from a computer or phone, or it can be selected from your Google Drive. If your evidence is in your Google Drive, you need to make sure that the sharing settings are correct. The concern with the evidence from your Google Drive is that by default, files are set to private, and your teacher evaluating your website will not be able to view those files while logged into their Google account. Beneath your evidence, write a short caption describing the evidence and why it supports your claim of growth. The easiest way to make sure your files from Google Drive have the correct sharing settings is to create a new folder in your drive. I will label mine portfolio evidence. If you edit the sharing settings to this folder, then any file you put in this folder will have the settings propagate down. After you create a folder in Drive from the New menu, you can select your folder and click the Sharing icon or right-click and select Sharing. Click the text for advanced setting. To the right of Private, you can only access. Click the text for Change. Set the folder so that anyone at BMHS can view. In the future, if you'd like to share this website with someone outside of BMHS, such as a college, you would need to edit this setting so that it is set to On public on the web. If you've created a front page with your quote, biography, and resume, if you've created four pages used to represent each year at BMHS, if you've created pages used to represent courses, written reflections, and provided evidence, and link those pages to the correct term and year, and if you've made sure that all of your evidence has the correct sharing settings, then you're almost done. There's only one more step. The final step is to publish your work. Anytime you change anything on your site, you have to click the Publish button for those changes to show up on the live website. Make sure to publish your work before you submit to your teacher. Click the Publish button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. You will have to assign a URL to your website. Write your full name without spaces or capitalization, followed by your graduating year, and click Publish. Your site should now be live on the web. When you submit a work to a teacher, you need to make sure all the required changes are complete. Make sure that you publish your edits. Make sure that you are linking to a live web page and not your editing site. And finally, make sure you submit a link to the correct course. To submit your work to your teacher, use the drop-down menu next to the Publish button and select View Published Website. Browse to the course that you would like to submit your work for and copy the address of the live site. This is the address that you need to submit to your teacher. If your assignment is in Google Classroom, simply open the assignment and add your link to the assignment for submission.